In this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why people struggle to lose weight jumping rope. Reason number one, people try to cancel out their bad eating habits with really intense workouts. Now tell me if this sounds familiar. It's 10 p.m. at night. You get a little hungry, you got the munchies. I don't know why you have the munchies. You got the munchies. You go to your fridge. Maybe there's some extra birthday cake in there. Yeah, you go take a slice of that birthday cake. 30 minutes goes by. Might as well just go have some cookies as well. Another hour goes by. Let me get some popcorn while I'm at it. The next morning comes and you're like, okay, I know I overate last night. I shouldn't have ate all those foods. So today I'm gonna work it off with a really intense workout. And most people just think that that late night eating is canceled out by their morning workout. But the fact of the matter is that most people really underestimate how much they eat and overestimate how many calories they burn in their workout. So the moral of the story is that you're not going to cancel out your bad eating habits with really intense workouts unless you're like an ultra marathon runner that burns thousands of calories every day. For the average person like you or me who are doing these jump rope workouts, you're gonna have to pay attention to your eating habits if you wanna see results. Reason number two, people are not tracking their calories. So despite jumping rope all the time and being very consistent with their workouts, they're not in a calorie deficit, which means they're not gonna lose weight. Reason number three is because they are inconsistent. We've all been guilty of this at one time or another. We find a challenge or a diet and we do it for a certain amount of time. And for some reason, we come up with this story in our minds that if we just complete this challenge or this diet, or this reset, then we're gonna be able to sustain these results. But the truth is, you've gotta just implement it into your lifestyle and make it your everyday normal thing that you do. That's the only way you're gonna sustain your results because just because you do 30 days or 60 days or 90 days and you just crush it, doesn't mean that you can take the next 30, 60, 90 days off. So the moral of the story is find a lifestyle that you enjoy that incorporates eating healthy foods, eating the right amount of food, and moving your body consistently in ways you enjoy. Reason number four people struggle to lose weight jumping rope is that they yo-yo diet. So just like people who do workout programs for a certain period of time and then fall off the wagon, a lot of people find like a juice cleanse they're gonna do for seven days or 14 days, or they're like, okay, I'm gonna go vegan or paleo, or I'm gonna go do the Atkins diet and they do a diet for a period of time, and they may even see results of that diet, but then they stop doing it. Whatever weight loss they had ends up coming back, and then they have to diet again. So our recommendation is not to try to find these specific diets to do, and then get off of, and then get back on. Forget diets. At the Jump Rope Dudes, we are completely against diets just because we don't believe they're sustainable. Instead, find out how much food you need to eat per day, which we talked about earlier in this video, and try to hit those numbers consistently to put yourself in a calorie deficit. That way you don't feel deprived every day of, oh, I can't eat meat, or oh, I can't eat sugar, or I can't eat carbs, or I can't eat fat. None of that stuff is sustainable. Instead, eat all the major food groups, protein, eat fats, eat carbs. Just make sure that when you eat all these types of foods, you're eating the right amount for your body, so you're in a calorie deficit and you lose weight. The biggest reason why people don't lose weight jumping rope is because they don't believe that it's possible for them. So this is all mental, emotional, spiritual. Whatever you believe you deserve, you're going to have in your life. So I'll give you an example. Before I was 21 years old, I never had six pack abs. And to be honest, I didn't believe it was possible for me. I had to create this internal belief that I could actually be the kind of person that had six pack abs before I got six pack abs. So whatever outcome that you want for yourself physically, and really in any area of your life, but we're talking about physically here, you need to believe it's possible and your beliefs need to propel you towards what you want. So let me explain how beliefs create your reality and create your physical body. If you believe that working out is super hard and you don't have time for it, then you're not gonna wanna do it because you're gonna always be like, oh, it's that super hard thing, why would I go do that? And you're also gonna be like, I don't have time for it, so you'll never make time. You see, your beliefs create your reality at all times. So if you believe that eating healthy is boring and not fun, you're never gonna try to eat healthy because you believe it's boring and not fun. You see, we don't go towards boring things. We go towards fun things. And so you have to adjust your internal belief structures to push you towards what you want. You have to change your beliefs so you believe that it's possible for you to get to your dream weight. You have to believe that working out is fun. You have to believe you have enough time to work out. You have to believe eating in a healthy way could be enjoyable and sustainable. So you have to align all your beliefs with the outcomes that you want. 
and those beliefs will propel you forward to actually take the physical action of following through with your nutrition and your workouts. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below because really here at Jump Rope Dudes, we are a jump rope transformation machine. Our whole goal around every piece of content we put out is to help you lose weight and create the body that you want. So if you want any help with that, we have some programs linked up in the description below to support you with that, to give you coaching, to give you the exact roadmap to get results. Uh, you know, at this channel, we have tons of free resources. So dig in and uh, thanks so much for watching again. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And as always, do the thing.